Pele, the Brazilian football legend, widely regarded as the greatest player of all time, has died at the age of 82. He'd been in hospital for several weeks, being treated for cancer. During his 21-year-long career, he scored more than 1,200 goals in more than 1,300 appearances and became the only player to win the World Cup three times. In Brazil, he is hailed as a national hero for his achievements in football and for his repeated calls to improve the social conditions of the poor. Tonight, tributes to him have been pouring in from all corners of the world. Our sports editor, Dan Roan, reports on the life of one of the true greats. Team sparring for an opening. It's all very canny stuff. Rivellino and it's Pelé. He's got it. Pelé has scored, and that is Brazil's 100th goal in the World Cup. If football is the world's game, then Pelé was the world's greatest player. For most fans, that's a statement of fact. Well over a thousand goals, a career of over 20 years, and three times a World Cup winner. But don't just look at statistics. Look at the style. Brazilian football, synonymous with flair and success, was built on Pele. Having been born into poverty, in 1958 he took part in his first World Cup tournament, aged just 17. He scored six goals in four matches, playing himself to the point of exhaustion. When Brazil beat Sweden in the final, one opponent said when he watched Pele, he felt like applauding. Pele! Injury limited his role in the 1962 World Cup and in 1966 glory was destined for elsewhere. Opposing teams knew they had to stop Pelé one way or another. Four years later in 1970 in Mexico, Pelé was part of a Brazilian team widely regarded as the finest ever. They won the World Cup with a freedom of expression and fluency never seen before. It was Pelé's last World Cup. Without him, Brazil waited another 24 years before winning the trophy again. Pelé remained in demand. After all, he was one of the most famous names and faces in the world. He spent 18 years with one club, Santos, averaging nearly a goal a game. By 1975, he was in the United States, the ultimate acquisition for a new league hungry for glamour. The league didn't last, but Pelé still thrilled New York. After football, he took on ambassadorial roles, commercial opportunities, politics and naturally collected recognition. This Lifetime Achievement Award from the BBC, just one example. Pelé expressed no regrets. If I have to, to do everything again, again since I was born in, until now, I will do everything again and I thank God. Pele had been receiving treatment for colon cancer for some time and amid reports that his condition was worsening, his presence was felt throughout Brazil's campaign at the recent World Cup in Qatar. Last week, his daughter posted this update from her father's bedside in hospital in Sao Paulo. And tonight, she confirmed his death, saying, everything we are is thanks to you. He's unquestionably one of the greatest football players that's ever lived. And I've, you have to be a certain age, of course, and um, I'm one of those people um, that were lucky enough to see him. Um, my first World Cup, I remember, was 1970, that brilliant Brazilian side that he was the, the star of. And um, he had a profound effect on, on my love of football. The popularity of football, the very idea of what makes it entertaining, began more than with any other man, Edson Arantes do Nascimento. Simply Pele. Well, tonight the arch at Wembley Stadium has been lit up in the colours of Brazil as tributes pour in to the man many called the King. The French football star Kylian Mbappe said the King of football has left us, but his legacy will never be forgotten. And the Brazilian star Neymar said Pele turned football into art, into entertainment. He gave voice to the poor visibility to Brazil. Our sports correspondent Joe Wilson reports on the reaction to his death. You didn't need to meet Pelé to feel that you knew him. Anyone with the slightest connection to football, with the slenderest interest in sport, grew up with Pelé's image, with his reputation. Many visited the museum. Some remember the matches. Among Pelé's contemporaries were some of England's most famous players, like Gordon Banks, 
Like another England World Cup winner, Sir Jeff Hurst, he wrote on social media, I have so many memories of Pelé. Without doubt, the best footballer I ever played against, with Bobby Moore, the best footballer I played alongside. For me, Pelé remains the greatest of all time, and I was proud to be on the pitch with him. R.I.P. Pelé, and thank you. And here are some tributes from today's brightest stars. Lionel Messi wrote simply, Rest in peace, Pelé. Cristiano Ronaldo said, The love you always showed me was reciprocated in every moment we shared, even from distance. He will never be forgotten, and his memory will live forever in each and every one of us football lovers. In Brazil, Pelé's nearest current equivalent is Neymar. From him, I would say before Pelé, football was just a sport. Pelé has changed everything. He turned football into art, into entertainment. He gave a voice to the poor, to black people, and mostly gave visibility to Brazil. The deep respect spans generations, it spans sports too. When Usain Bolt describes Pelé as a sporting legend, the word has the context it truly deserves. What Pelé stood for and still represents is joy. Without that, what is sport? Pelé, over His career took football from black and white images to its fullest, boldest colours, to its global status. Why else would Wembley's arch be changed to the colours of Brazil, of joy, the colours of Pelé? Joe Wilson, BBC News. Our South America correspondent Katie Watson is outside the hospital in Sao Paulo where uh, Pelé died earlier today. And Katie, tell us more about the reaction there in Brazil. Well, this was a moment that every Brazilian knew was going to happen, but at the same time, of course, dreaded. And behind me, where he died just a few hours ago, there are this press from around the world. There are also fans who have come to pay their respects. The hospital issued a statement saying that it shared with the family and everyone else the suffering that comes with the loss of our beloved king of football. I just think that shows the, the mark of respect that everybody here had for Pelé, even Lula, who will be um, becoming president of Brazil at the weekend, he said there was no number 10 shirt uh, like him. I think whether you were young or old, whether you remembered him playing or whether you were told by your parents or your grandparents about how he played, he was an icon for everyone. And in this country, which has been so divided um, politically, he was so much, he was above that. He was above politics. He really was a king for people here in Brazil. Katie, thank you. And let's get a final word from our sports editor, Dan Rohn, who's at the BBC Sports Centre in Salford. And just, just give us an idea. I mean, we've got one already, but how Pele will be remembered. I think for many, Sophie, uh, it's quite simply the greatest. This was a man whose skill, but also his smile, came to define not just the Brazil national team, but also the World Cup and, indeed, the sport itself. But I think Pelé transcended football because, remember, years, decades after his retirement, he remained one of the most famous people in any walk of life on the planet. Despite the difficulty of comparing legends from different eras, inevitably there'll always be that debate around who was the greatest, and in particular, of course, comparisons with his fellow South American Diego Maradona. What's undeniable, however, is that no one can match those three World Cup victories that Pelé was part of. He remains the youngest ever goal scorer in a World Cup final. His prolific scoring for both club and country is quite remarkable. I think such statistics don't do justice to his skill and technique, which were years ahead of its time. But also it's worth considering that the image of a beaming Pelé in the gold of Brazil came to embody, I think, for many people, that concept of the beautiful game. But also I think it gave Brazil a national identity. He arguably did more than any other player to ensure that that was the country that for many was most closely associated with football, the country that became known as the one that was most in love with football. Consider also the fact that he was born just 52 years after Brazil abolished slavery. He became one of the first black global sporting superstars. He was vocal about the need for greater education in his country as well. It's testament to the impact that he made, the outpouring of tributes this evening. But I think for many football fans around the world, it's the skill above all and the smile that will define this player. He was known as the King and it does seem a very fitting nickname given the majesty of his skill. And I think for many, he will be more than any other footballer, the player who made the game beautiful.